I'm Tatum Skipper, and welcome to Real Florida Magazine. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer, and then we'll we'll get started. Thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to be here to honor these student athletes, to uh, recognize their abilities and, and, and their commitment to Chipley Athletics. We thank you, Lord, for being with them as they play throughout the year. And we just thank you for your hand of protection upon them as they traveled uh, to away games and, and, and you brought them home safely, Lord. And we just pray that you bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies and us to thy service. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. Appreciate all y'all coming. Appreciate the Tiger 100 um, providing the meal. And we're going to start with the uh, girls' basketball. Teams come up, please. Uh, this year was uh, a little different than the years in the past. We only had two returning players, and um, they worked really hard. I was extremely proud of them. We um, we came out of districts and went to regionals. They persevered and pushed through, and I was extremely proud of the hard work. As I continued to push them, they kept climbing to a higher level. Let me start first with my seniors, Brittany Lee. Essence Williams, <laughs> Karina Bell, <laughs> Octavia Massaline, <laughs> Anaj Reed, <laughs> Sarah Baxley, <laughs> Katie Heine, <laughs> Michaela Killings, <laughs> And Adriana Jackson. <laughs> Riley, can you come up? Okay, um, as a token of appreciation, um, me and Brittany, since we're all seniors, we went and got her something. Uh, and Riley and Miss Lizzie, thank you also for always like coming to our games and supporting us through everything. We never had to beg them to come to practice. They came with an attitude ready to work, and they were lucky because they got to, they got to practice against the state champs almost every day. So that was the most important thing about this team. All right, Terrence Blackman. Can you 
you to turn it up to people in the back can't hear. We can't hear back there at all. French Ravius Woods. Dominique Bowden. Jack Shelley. Eric Lampley. Zach Wilson. Kelvin Dean. Austin Berry. Hudson Black. Christian Davis. Colton Cox. Andrew Lawton. Jackson Swearingen. And Grant Smeltzer. Chipley High. And um, during the summer, I was trying to figure things out, and the whole idea that I had placed in my mind was just don't mess this up. So, well, I can put the microphone down and do a lot better, probably. But uh, the, the guys, they came in, worked hard every day, uh, had some great leadership on the team. They, they came in willing to, like I said, to work. They uh, reached goals. I, you know, I was amazed at some of the things we did during the season. You know, we're district champs, regional champs, went to the Final Four, and came home state champs. 28-3 uh, wasn't bad. I was real proud of it, but they know how I am. I don't like to lose any of them. Uh, but they've got a lot of things, a lot of accomplishments that they can be proud of. And we're fixed to take care of a few of them right now. We'll give every one of them a team photo from when, when they were on the floor at Lakeland. Okay. Chad Carmichael. 
Trent Ford. Grant Rowell. Adrian Sims. Trey Thurman. Brian Williams. Elijah Staten. And Austin Collins. I have a young man that uh, played all four years in high school. Coached him all three years in middle school. Came out, he is the FABC. Oh, Coach oh, uh, Wilson, is okay? Go ahead and do this now. FABC Player of the Year. And he's also the Dairy Farmer Class A Player of the Year, Trent Forrest. leadership earlier that meant a lot to us. Uh, in fact, we went, we went down south to the Final Four. I let them plan the entire, uh, basically the itiner itinerary as far as going to restaurants, several other things. That would be Trent Forrest and Daniel Floyd, They're both for our team captains. Uh, Chip the High School MVC 2015-16 CHS all-time leading score 31,003 points Trent Forrest. <laughs> guys it's been a little, little bit harder to do. That would be Dylan Gavalier. <laughs> Jacob Hales. <laughs> Magnus Ostraus. Is he here? <laughs> and not, not uh, least, Rishi Patel. <laughs> This is what the guys have been pestering me about for the last couple of weeks. Coach, are they going to be in? <coughs> the rings did come in, boys. Right. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah Staten. Trent Brock. Rishi Patel. Adrian Sims. Oh, 
PJ Spencer. Grant Rowell. Daniel Foy. Dylan Gavalier. Austin Collins. Trey Thurman. Chad Carmichael. Trent Forrest. Also, I'd like for Philip Adams to come up here and put his on. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead and put these rings on. Let these folks see them. Also, uh, the, uh, my coaches, Bill Bam. <laughs> Bill Adams, Jesse Carter, Kevin Smith, and Brad Adams. I'm going to present, I'm going to present them with a photo of the team on the court down in Lakeland. Show them everything. They want team photo down We're not going to get you can't get to that. You got to have right here. MVP in the middle, two co-captains, and everybody
These guys had to move around from day to day. They may be playing one position one day, another one the next, when the who was pitching, and they did a really good job of moving, uh, helping each other, and, and getting it done. And, and that's that's really really a big 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 thing for them. They got better as we as the year went on and progressed. And like I said, 12 and three was a very very good record. This time, I'd like to recognize those guys. Uh, Jackson Swearingen, ninth grader. Jamison Spencer, ninth grader. Joey Jordan, ninth grader. Braden Ganey, ninth grader. Dylan Williams, tenth grader. Christian Mitchell, first series play in the wild, glad to have him out here. And Brian Williams, 10th grader. So we'll recognize some of these guys again in a minute because uh, a few of them came up and finished it out on the varsity with us and did a really good job. But I'm really proud. Of, I mean, it's been a while since we've had a, a JV team, small numbers like we had, that came out and win as many games as they did. They did really, really well. If you could, give them a big round of applause. So. A little bit about our varsity team before they come up. Um, we finished 18-7. Had a really good year. Um, I guess as a, we knew coming in that, that pitching was going to be a big, big deal for us. We were really strong on the mound. I think we finished with a uh, team ERA of about 2.0 uh, in 25 games. That's, that's really, really good. Um, they, we, we came up short, the district got upset, went to the playoff game, you lose one or nothing in the game, it's really, really hard to win. But uh, this team deserved what they, you know, a very good season and we, we, we had the opportunity and that's what we expected and that's all you can ask in, in baseball is an opportunity because the game's so hard to win. Uh, this time I'd like to recognize, recognize our varsity guys, if they would make their way up. We had a very, I would say, experienced team defensively. Played really, really well. Hit it well in the middle. Kind of eased off at the end. But uh, had a very, very productive year. I want to recognize these guys, and then we'll go into our individual awards. Uh, Braden Ganey moved up with us at the end of the year. Uh, ninth grader. Joey Jordan, ninth grader, also came up. Dominic Bowden, 10th grader. Dom got hit on the wrist in the first pitch of the game in Williston and broke his wrist and was out for about half the year, but it grew back. Cordell Carley, junior. Trip Hodges, Jr. Grant Rowell, 11th grader. Briar Mars is a senior. Uh, Trenton Brock, senior. Whitley Pettis, senior. Kobe Williams, senior. Nathan Spencer, senior. Cody Wood, senior. Shelby Savelle, senior. And Daniel Floyd, senior. Got one other senior that's on the way, Ty Henderson, is what they said, so you'll know it when he gets here. Uh, I like to present our seniors with a, uh, a little token for, for what they've done for us in four years. I mean, I told them after, after their last game, there's a lot of days we wrote their names out on lineups from the time they were in the eighth grade and came over here and started playing in the summer. And it's going to be hard seeing these guys go. 
when, when you wrote their name down every day. And uh, I want to present them uh, with an, uh, a little award for them. That's the card. All right, we're going to go into our uh, individual awards. Uh, the first one is our offensive award, and this was basically done on all stats alone. This guy hit had an average of 466 this year, led our team in about every offensive category, 34 hits, 7 doubles, 31 walks. 28 RBIs, had a great year at the plate. Um, I think he's going to be very good on the next level also, and that's Shelby Savelle. Uh, a defensive award this year, a lot to give out. He, he, he had a great year. I went back and looked at the stats last week. Uh, we haven't really given this award out lately, but I think it's deserved this year. This guy had 121 chances this year to make a play, and he did it 120 times. Made one error. Uh, very, very outstanding year, and that's Colby Williams. Uh, we had two uh, our pitching awards this year. Um, I we couldn't narrow it down to one because these two guys have carried us for like three years and for two years and I went through there and did their, their innings together. They worked 98 innings. They had 140 strikeouts in 98 innings with 38 walks. It's unbelievable. With a .85 ERA. Uh, those two guys are Daniel Floyd and Shelby Savelle. The next two awards are awards that uh, were voted on by our players. Um, this year's captains this year were voted on, and, and Daniel Floyd and Shelby Savelle. This year for the first time. He uh <laughs> he kind of here for going. Uh love to have him around. I hope he stays. Ty Henderson. Oh, uh, he's number eleven. Our last award is um, the sportsmanship award given away by my my family, the Bobby Compton Sportsmanship Award. Goes to a guy this year, I think, that really deserves it. He uh, exemplifies everything about this program. Very good team guy, plays well. Uh, this year, it's uh, Nathan Spencer. Thank you so much, uh, all these guys. They work really hard. It's, it's hard to win these games, guys, and when uh, when in baseball, I don't know. It's just sometimes it's not fair, but it's the way it is. But uh, we really enjoyed working with them, and get after it again next year. Good afternoon. My name is Satcher Dixon. I am the uh, softball coach here at Chipley High School. Um, can I have all of the softball young men come up? Come on.
as they're coming on up um, and getting ready, um, this year was a little bit different. In the past, we've had a couple of teams, and and uh, <laughs> this year we only had one. We had one team, and um, in the beginning of the year, I knew it was going to be uh, it was going to be a little bit tough because we had a lot of young ladies, a lot of young young ladies as far as experience goes, and um, we we're going to try to make the best out of it, do the best we can, learn a lot, and uh, have a good productive season. So, uh, first, I want to say a little bit of thank yous. I want to thank the Tiger 100. Um, Mr. Peoples, Mr. Newsom, all those guys that came out to support us, Coach uh, uh, Blake Wilson, our AD, for helping us get those seeds out this year. We couldn't have done it, but I appreciate it. And the people hung me out. Uh, thank you for being there for me. Um, uh, Coach Mathis, believe it or not, Coach Mathis was a, he's a, he's a very, very um, helpful as it pertains to some of our games. We held, um, we had a game then we didn't play Freeport. Freeport during spring break and our, our field was flooded. It was flooded, man. So Coach Mathis, he came up on a Monday when we were out of school and got the field ready for us. And so I know he's not here tonight, but we want to thank him as well. I want to thank all the parents uh, for being very supportive. And, and we spent a lot of time out there on that field and just being there for your young ladies and the, and the coaches here. Um, specifically, Richard, Tara Finch, we spent countless hours uh, aiding the program, whether that was helping with the field, uniforms, getting back cases, getting the nets ready, um, cooking, cleaning, uh, taking up money, keeping score, you know, all the little things. And I just mentioned those guys. Oh, I'm not just done for a little bit. Um, Crystal Carter, that's, that's Cassidy Boyette's mother. Uh, she was taking up money a lot. The Pettises, they were out there grilling. The Pagets, they were working in the stands. Um, the ter Miss Terrell, that's uh, Tiffany Terrell's mom. And she was keeping score. So basically, I want to thank all you guys for supporting us. I mean, it's a small program, um, but these girls love it. We love it. So thank y'all. I also want to thank the people up at Pals Park because they were our home away from home as our field was flooded. So they, you know, they facilitated us and got our got the fields ready for us as well. So um, thank them as well. Let's see, we're here, 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 here. Y'all all right up here? The people at Pals Park. Here's, here's also like the thing. Yeah, I got a checklist. I'm trying to check some stuff off here and make sure I cover everything. I say thank you, Mr. Newsom. Did we say thank you already? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coach Wilson, go for it. All right, Coach Balkan, will you help me with these awards right here? Uh, Tiffany Lee. Jade Coke. Ariel Rhodes. Uh, Holly Smith. Mackenzie Gay. Lauren Finch. Madison Kent. As coaches get this, I'm gonna tell you a little story about Mackenzie Gay. Mackenzie's about four foot four, but she has the heart of an elephant, I'll tell you. Uh, Gracie Gilbert. We were playing in a tournament. Lindsey Gatlin. We were playing in a tournament in uh, Panama City, in Frank Brown Park. And Mackenzie, uh, keep, Mackenzie, see, 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 she's about four foot. Sweet young lady. But Mackenzie has a, she's very inexperienced when it comes to softball, right? So me and Coach were talking, we gotta put Mackenzie in, we gotta give her some playing time, she's ready. And we put her in right field. So he and I are talking, we're thinking, 
Good God, please don't hit it the right field. <laughs> don't hit it the right field, and the first ball they hit is the right field. Pop fly, McKenzie catches it. So we're jumping all out the dugout, very excited. And then we're down to two outs, getting ready for the third out to close the inning. We said, well, at least we got out of this inning. McKenzie has the confidence up, she's gonna be good. Well, they hit it to her again. And she makes another catch. So we were very pleased and very proud to have you a part of the team, McKenzie. Thank you. Katie <laughs> Hano. Julianne Padgett. Brooklyn Hayes. Cassidy Boyer. And we had a few young ladies that weren't here tonight. I have a couple other awards to, uh, to give out. Um, the first award is going to be for the highest batting average that we did. And um, again, this year was not our best year. We had a lot of young, young ladies, a lot of young, young ladies. And so the batting average, highest batting average goes to Madison Kent at 431. award is for the uh, Gail Adams Memorial Award. Um, in the past I knew a little bit about it but I ended up learning a lot more as I spoke with uh, Miss Dietrich, uh, Lady Dietrich. Now she was telling me she was going to take over the handing out of the award and pre presentation of it. And, and so she gave me like some information that she wanted me to read to you guys tonight just to let you know um, how serious this award is. She says, um, as defined by Mr. Webster, sportsmanship is fair play, respect for opponents and polite behavior by someone who is competing in a sport. Gail Adams was a champion of all sports, but she particularly loved softball. She enjoyed the game and the camaraderie that the softball promotes. She encouraged young, young women to work hard and not be afraid to get dirty. The concept of teamwork was something that she strongly believed in. The Gail Adams Memorial Award is to recognize and congratulate the softball player who gives her best 100% of the time in an attitude and ability. In memory of her mother, Caitlin Adams is proud to sponsor this award for Chipley Tiger softball player. It was hard. It was a hard decision. Um, with Coach uh, Balkum and I, we sat down, we talked about it, and this year's recipient is going to be Bailey Steele. We'll take this award to her to be had. There's a couple other people. Uh, Coach Ball we couldn't have done this without you. Come on, come on here and grab your appreciate. And our other guy who's not here tonight is gonna be Jared Waldrop. Jared was our, our go-to guy, our, our statistician. He wasn't here tonight, so I want to thank Jared also. Thank you guys. Playoffs. So I want to thank these girls um, for their hard work. Hello. Um, how you doing tonight? I'm here for Cats, Chipley's Arts in the Schools. Now 
Now this year I had 70 students from first to graduate and over the last three years I've had 200 children that have done CATS. Now if you don't know what CATS is, we perform at the football games and the basketball games. This year we did not do basketball, but we did do the football game. We did one in Chipley and one in Vernon. Now I'm here to say thank you. I believe and very strongly in thanking those that help you. Now I am the president, I am the secretary, I am the treasurer, and I am the fundraiser of CATS. So my first thank you, and uh, they're not here right now, but I'd like to thank Stephanie and Ray and Next Generation Sports because they sponsored CATS 100% this year. Now, everyone's been generous, but I've been so busy that the fact that he was doing this um, was just wonderful. So they're not here, but I would really like to thank them. Now, Cats this year did something very special. Um, how many were at the basketball games and saw the big flag that Rhonda Florsky <laughs> raised his hands right away? Yeah. Okay, the big flag was Cats donating it to Junior ROTC. So we're broke. We used every penny up. So I will be going after everyone for sponsors this year. Now, I would like to say thank you to Coach Harris. And Coach Harris isn't here today, but I want to tell you something. Cats has been a struggle many times. It's very hard. Coaches, you know, they're really into their teams. And anything, any distraction outside, they really, most of the time, don't like. Well, this year, I went to Coach Harris, and he sat me down and said, Dawn, you pick whatever game you want. And so I picked the game. You pick whatever time you want. So I decided before the game. When I got to the game, I went up to him, and I'm a nervous wreck. And I said, oh my gosh, my kids. He says, Don, don't you worry. My football players can wait. Now, you're not going to get many coaches that are going to tell a group of little kids, you go ahead, my players can wait. He was a great guy. He was so supportive. And I did let him know I was going to be here tonight. He told me he couldn't, and he asked me to come to school and see him. But I'm here to say thank you to Coach Harris for everything he's done for cats. Thank you.